I save my client over 100,000 dollars a year using the automation system I'm sharing with you today. We're going to break down the problem that we're having. I'll give you a walkthrough on the exact process they had before compared to what it looks like now. <laughs> it's like day and night. I'm also going to share the three tools we use to make this possible and give you a detailed look into the actual automation. Keep in mind, this wasn't all a smooth process. We hit three major roadblocks along the way. I'll share those two and most importantly, how we tackled them head on. At the end of all this, I've got a special free gift for you. So make sure you watch all the way through because the goal of this video is to equip you with the right knowledge so you can make your automations better and maybe even your own client automation. If that's something you're excited about, consider tapping that like button. So in my previous video, we identified that the client's goal is to go from 20 trucks to 40 plus trucks. However, there's a slight issue. 80% of their current processes are done old school. That's right, pen and paper. And then manually typed into Excel. So that means double the trucks equals double the paperwork. Now you might be thinking, cool, why can't they just hire an extra admin as they grow? Here's the thing. Nothing is digitally tracked. There's no way to verify the accuracy of the information from the admin. Only trusted individuals can handle this task. Now you may be asking why. Well, they're dealing with money. They directly impact who gets paid and how much they get paid. As you can imagine, there's a million ways things can go wrong. Now the problem we just identified is called a bottleneck. They want to grow the business but simply can't due to the tedious systems they have in place. It's really getting to a point where the customer's burning out. Listen to what the client has to say about the situation. So you've got two people spending anywhere between six to eight hours a day on this type of admin task and they're repeating the same thing and you, you mentioned they're your most valuable workers, right? Definitely. Without them, the business doesn't run essentially. People don't get paid. Right. Don't get put through. Okay. Interesting. So this is a big problem for you. 100%. And when you're talking 20 to 25 trucks, it's a lot to handle. And yeah. again, keeping them satisfied and making the job easier is important because losing them, as I mentioned, is losing the business. So we need something to keep them interactive. Yeah. And easier essentially so okay okay contribute to other parts of the awesome business. awesome as you can see this is a major problem for them creating this automation unlocks new level of growth in the business and relieves them from a ton of stress so this is an outline of the exact step-by-step -step process they used to go through before we created the system as you can see it is a long list it used to take two people anywhere between six to eight hours a day to complete they'd go through all those steps over 50 times every single day day and here's what it looks like now doesn't take them more than 10 to 20 minutes a day for one person to get this done now they can focus on the business rather than working in the business you may be thinking that's cool and all but how did you actually create this system for them i want to pull back the curtains and show you how we actually created this automation so you can do the same thing for your business or your own client's business so whenever i'm starting a new project out i like to consult with my friend chat gpt although i know what needs to be done i like to get its thoughts and go back and forth with the actual AI. So what I did was I went into ChatGPT and explained the whole scenario from start to finish, step by step, not leaving a single detail out. And I asked her for the following three things. First up, I wanted her to give me a general overview of the automation we could create for this system. Second, I asked ChatGPT to define what this system actually is so I could do more research on creating a solution. And the third thing that I was looking for are the best tools that I can use to create this system as efficiently as possible. And here's what it came back to me with. The system I'm after is called a trucking management system, also known as a TMS. The tools required are Airtable, Twilio, and Zapier. And it also gives an outline of how everything connects. I'm going to use Twilio for the messaging, Airtable to hold all the data, and Zapier to make the connection between the two software. Now that I have a greater understanding of what I'm dealing with and what I need to work towards, it's time for me to create my MVP, the minimal viable product. So for this to be beneficial for the client, they needed four key features. They needed to receive a text message and auto populate it in Airtable. They want the ability to allocate a driver. Once the driver is assigned, an automated message will be sent to the driver with all the information about the job and finally once the driver is finished with the job there needs to be a form they fill out that automatically populates the information into Airtable so there's no need to manually input that data like they were before lo and behold it gives me great pleasure to say that we were successful in creating this automation that's exactly what you're going to take a look at right now okay so now we're in the Airtable base and this is where everything happens don't get too overwhelmed i'm going to break it down and simplify it for you so there was two major issues the client was facing before. The first being he had to copy and paste the job information from the customer and send it directly to the driver. 
Here's how we simplified that. As soon as the customer sent through a message regarding the job that needs to be done, it'll pop up in job text section over here. As you can see, they've really started using it and they're loving it, right? So once the job text pops up in here, all my client has to do is select which driver he wants to assign to that job. Once he's done that, the date will automatically pop up and the driver's contact information would also show over here. This contact information is being extracted from the driver's table. Now, once he's done that, all he needs to do is simply finalize yes. Once he presses yes, the information that's in this job text over here will automatically be forwarded to the number in the contact information. So before he was on his phone all day, copying and pasting this information here and forward and sending it to this number here. Now all he has to do is assign a driver and click yes and everything is sorted. They do this over 50 times a day. So this saves them a lot of time and it's all organized and you can gather the data on everything. Now the second major time consuming task they had was manually inputting the information from this docket into an Excel sheet. Now this is what it looks like. So I'll come into the docket table and all the drivers have to do is fill out this form here, right? So the drivers have to fill out this form, put their job number, docket number, customer company number, operator, etc, etc. Once they've done that, it'll pop up in this grid view and there's no need for that menu entry. So imagine doing that 50 times a day, inputting all this data, all this information. Now there's no need for that because the drivers simply fill out a form and it pops up here. It's all structured, it's nice, and it's tidy, and everything can be tracked. Remember how we mentioned the trust issue? Now there's no way to manipulate the information. It's much more accurate than it was before. So, quick overview. Once the job message comes in, it pops up in the job text. All my client has to do is simply press add driver. Once he does that, the contact information comes up here, and he has to press yes. The second thing is the client no longer has to fill out all this data manually over 50 times a day into an Excel sheet. He has the drivers fill out the information through a form, through an online form, and the data automatically populates in this table. Now keep in mind he can access this Airtable through his phone, through his laptop, or any device, right? It's very convenient. That being said, I wanted to talk about the roadblocks we had with creating the solution. So the first major roadblock we had was the contact information wasn't showing up when the client selected a driver right we need for this automation to work we needed all this information the job text the driver the contact information to pop up in the same view so what we did was we set up another field which is the contact information field and what it will do is as soon as we select this driver it'll look up it'll come to the driver's table over here it'll extract this contact information and automatically make it show up over here the second robot we encountered was with twilio and we needed to verify the client's company is indeed legit and we're not scammers. We needed to provide documentation to show that the client's company is commercially registered. On top of that, we needed to provide even more documentation to prove that the company is still running until this day. We're talking about utility bills, tax bills, anything to prove that the company is still running. Now, this whole process alone delayed us about one to two weeks going back and forth with the Twilio team, verifying everything and making sure we're allowed to buy a mobile number. They're very strict on this because I want to prevent people from scamming. And the third roadblock I want you to avoid is what we call scope creep it's a common thing in the development industry it's essentially when you don't meet a deadline so you'll tell the customer you get the automation done within two weeks however due to unforeseen issues like the twilio problem i just outlined it'll take an extra week or so so the way i like to do it is if i think a project or an automation is going to take me three weeks tell your customer four to five weeks even give yourself that buffer period especially if you're just starting out and you haven't done many projects before worst case scenario you finish early they're happy you're happy it's a win-win scenario okay so far we've covered the problem in depth i've taken you behind the scenes and i've given you a walkthrough of the actual automation we created. I've also given you three things to watch out for when you're creating such an automation so you can speed up the process for yourself or even for your own clients. Now it's time to hear from the horse's mouth, my customer, the business we created this automation for. I wanna have a quick interview with him and see what he has to say about the automation we created for him. Assalamu alaikum, Asad, how are you brother? Why well, guys, sir, Muli. Not too bad, how are you? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. You're a famous man now. 2,000 views on YouTube. <laughs> People love it's the. It's funny uh... you mentioned that because I was literally, look... yeah, I was looking at it a couple of days, six hundred views, <laughs> and uh, it looks like we've made it to the spotlight. That's it, you made it to the spotlight. The people love you. I just wanted to touch base to 
make a follow-up video. So essentially, I'm giving the audience a detailed breakdown of the automation. I wanted to get your thoughts on how it's working in your business, if it's improved your systems and your whole process at the moment. I'm aware that you guys are, we're slowly integrating it, so we haven't fully moved to the automation yet, but you guys are, sl we're slowly getting into it, right? Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, we're slowly integrating it. Um, now it's a matter of wrapping our heads around how to use it. Um, and shifting all, you know, the paperwork, as I mentioned before, and stuff like that, into the new system. Yeah. Um, but the teams love it. It's uh, it's innovative. It's something new. Um, you know, going from pen to paper to, you know, a little fancy system. Yeah. Um, definitely excited to see what we can do. We've still got more ideas in place, which I was hoping to share with you at some point. Okay. Um, but yeah, for now, I think we'll take it step by step. Yeah, exactly, and exactly. see where we go from here. For sure, for sure. So at the moment, we're currently, we, you have got, you guys aren't fully using it at the moment. You're just testing with uh, like a, a five drivers, right? And- Correct, so we've nominated a bunch of drivers and they're kind of giving us the feedback and you know. Yeah, you gotta- you got to iron out the uh, the bugs and all the, it, make sure that it's working smoothly before you put your whole operation on there, which is what we advise you. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, like I said, so far so good. Yeah, so I just wanted to touch base on one thing um, that the boy, when the boy suggested um, was figuring out a way we can kind of implement uh, individual profiles, for example, each of the drivers. Because um, obviously with the system we've just come up with, we're sending out automated messages um but i wanted to try to take it further and see if we could create possibly like an app or some kind of platform where we can assign each driver an account and uh and they can watch the information from there uh, but i wasn't sure if that was something we could actually integrate into the system that we've come up with so is that a mobile app you're talking about on the phone or a web app well really it is that would be the most thing for the drivers uh, obviously mobile app. I don't want to make it too sophisticated for them yeah um, obviously the simpler the better okay so you want to have a mobile app that the drivers can use and the whole team can use essentially yeah for example we give them you know, either a user code or an email or something um, that way we can identify the driver's information immediately as soon as they sign in um and they can lodge the information from there right um and i assume that would feed back into the, yeah uh, the office database i guess yeah 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 so I'll be, that's definitely possible like it's 100 percent possible the setup we've got for you right now that's the back end right and now all we have to do is yeah. put a, a a cover on it it's called like a dashboard type i think right so that's definitely yeah. possible i am gonna have to look into it a little bit more because obviously total transparency i haven't built an app before i might have to get people on board but i'm sure we can figure yeah. out a way to to build the app for you internally a, a mobile app so but i will have to get back to you on that and that's actually exciting that's i like fun. the sound i like the sounds of that it's a very good idea well yeah when i heard it i thought you know what we've taken this one step yeah and i guess it's just another means of taking it further yeah um but obviously one step at a time, as we said, we're integrating this slowly, slowly, but I thought if it's something you could do in the process, maybe it's another thing to look at. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So here's what I'm thinking. We'll get the, the current automation we've created for you. We wanna get the whole, all the 20 trucks on that automation, using that automation, right? And once that's ironed out, yep. like all the, there's no bugs, there's no issues, there's no hiccups at all, we will focus on creating the app. So it's just a step-by-step -step process. I'll keep that in mind. I'll bring that to the team and I'll actually give you a proposal on that later on as well. But I like that idea, great that's idea. Good. That's, yeah, there's no rush, but um, yeah, I'm ready when you are. Awesome, awesome. Um, Sounds you know, good. We're approaching the end of the year, so I guess it's gonna buy us a bit more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To, to get our heads around it a bit. But I'm looking forward to it. Awesome, I like the direction we're heading in this, right? Everything is, working smoothly and i'm looking forward to creating this mobile app for you hopefully likewise my brother likewise all right man maybe we can get another ten thousand views on this video i don't know we'll see if the audience loves it we'll probably get maybe 15. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Alright brother. Shoot for the stars, mate. Alright brother, I'll catch ya. Nice chat. Salam alaikum. Thanks, buddy. Talk soon. I can send. Oh wow. I'm truly lost for words. We created automation for them and now they want us to build an internal mobile app they can use to run their business. We went from an AI automation to now building a full-blown mobile app. In this video over here, I talked about my plan to make a million dollars with AI automation. And in there, I mentioned I'm creating these automations to identify SaaS opportunities, software opportunities. This might be one of them. Creating an app. I've seen many apps out there, but they want us to create an internal app they can use to run their business and to operate everything in-house. So alhamdulillah, things are going to plan. It gets me thinking. The true opportunity, the true value in this AI automation business model, we're just scratching the surface of it. There's so much opportunity, there's so much potential to make money in this industry. We're from automation to building a mobile app. We haven't built it yet, but we're going to, inshallah, with God's will. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover the process of creating a mobile app in my next video. As I mentioned, I've got a free gift for you, a special free gift that I promised you for watching all the way until the end. I kept it till the end because I only wanted those that stuck around to receive this value. Now, in this video so far, I haven't given you a detailed step-by-step -step plan on exactly how to create this automation. Well, now you have that. I've created a free resource that I call the Triple A Masterclass e Book. It covers everything you need to know to become successful in the AI automation agency. I'm documenting my journey. I'm putting everything I know in there. Everything from my mental hacks, the way I run my automations, the way I start a project, the way I operate the business, the way I operate the agency. Everything I learn, everything I understand and I uncover, even these case studies, I document to an extreme detail in my AAA Masterclass ebook. Now keep in mind, this isn't a polished version. I'm constantly updating this ebook. I'm constantly refining it. As I get more valuable information, I'll put it in there. As I find that new resources are added in there it's your one-stop shop to creating a successful ai automation agency and learning from me tapping into my brain and how i think if that's something you see value in click the link in the description below and i'll have that over to you right away so now from me over and out